Hey there, how are you today? My name is Dana Damara and you have landed on Astrocast. This is your weekly forecast from S September 15th through the 22nd. Okay, so I kind of want to keep things simple and just say that the theme of the week is endings, like allowing things to end, right? Just wrapping things up, closing doors, it seems pretty obvious because we have this energy of the full moon lunar eclipse that happens on the 17th that kind of initiates the entire week, right? It just permeates the entire week. But I also feel like um, we have some pretty grounding, loving, powerful energy between Pluto and Uranus and the sun being in Virgo, really helpful energy. And so when we think about endings, sometimes that creates a little bit of a frenetic, um, well, what do I do with this energy now? If something's going to end, now what? Um, and what I want to say is that a, a word that's coming to me uh, is more about liberation. It's more about having a sense of freedom um, and even a, a and liberation is great, but even if we don't use it as the synonym to um, freedom, think about how you feel when you zoom out of a situation, right? And you take on a higher perspective, how liberating that can be, right? And so the energy this week gives us this opportunity to do that. First of all, the week starts off with the full moon lunar eclipse, which is kind of a big deal. It is one of the weaker eclipses. It's a, it's a full moon lunar eclipse, but it's partial. Okay. So it's not as strong. Um, but you know, Mercury is opposite Saturn. When Mercury is opposite Saturn, this really creates, um, a clarity around our conversations. And that doesn't necessarily mean our conversations with each other. It can be conversations up here. <laughs> Uh, it can be uh, conversations that we have with ourselves, our patterns that we are um, attached to, right? So Mercury op opposite Saturn is going to ask you to get really critical and clear with the conversations that you're having. The Sun trines Uranus as well, right around that same time, which is beautiful. This is where the liberation piece comes out. This is where we get to take these beautiful, dreamy, imaginative ideas that are coming through with this Pisces full moon and we get to say how can I actually make this real how can I be free from these limiting beliefs that I have and let me try something new so just be on the lookout for that energy um, don't dismiss it and then on the 20th we have the autumn equinox which is about turning the page to a new season like this is definitely ending energy. And I talk about this in the full moon report about all the planets that are at the ends of the zodiac signs. Um, and the fact that the full moon is in Pisces, this is all endings to allow ourselves to be open to something new. And that opening to something new is going to come in the form of you being open, you being tapped into your intuition you using the Jupiter and Venus energy and being like, oh my gosh, what is it that I really desire? And then allowing yourself to ground into it. Now, the only way we can do that is if we truly zoom out of the minutia, like don't get stuck in the minutia with this energy. The sun is opposite Neptune, which is going to do two things. One is it could bring in illusion and deception, but the other is, is it can amplify your spirituality. So Again, zoom out, zoom out and, and ask yourself, how do I want to use whatever this is that's happening for you? And then the last little bit that's happening is that Mercury is going to square Jupiter. Okay, now Mercury is the planet of communication. And so when Mercury squares Jupiter, there is a couple things, a tendency to speak about, um, these beautiful new ideas that you have and speak in a way that is expansive. And the other one is to get overwhelmed. So don't overpromise. Don't 
you know, overwhelm yourself. Be clear, use that Mercury and Saturn energy combined with the Mercury and Jupiter energy and allow yourself to, to be expansive while um, clear and, and, and disciplined. And, and I'm telling you that whole idea of just zooming out, like seeing things from that higher perspective will, will free you from getting snagged in um, whatever is going to be let go of during this full moon <laughs> lunar eclipse because I can guarantee you that something will, will end in your life, whether it's a, um, a, a relationship or a way that you see things. Just be open. Be open to something new and lovely and um, supportive coming into your life. Um, it may not, you know, just bam, show up, right, this week, but be open, be aware, because the universe is always speaking to us. It's always giving us little signs. Go this way, go this way. Follow the breadcrumbs and, and listen, and listen with your heart as well, and you will be completely liberated from the minutia and the shh, right? Because there's a lot of that going on right now, if you haven't noticed. Uh, so just pay attention and, and ask yourself what's really resonant here and just let yourself be free and liberated from the stuff that just doesn't concern you in this moment in time. That's all I can say. I don't want to, I don't want to go political. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening. I'm always so grateful. I love getting your notes and um, questions. Uh, if you do have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And if you want me to read your chart, I'm happy to do so. Just go to my website at danadamara.com and you'll find all the information there. Thank you so much, you guys. Truly, I really appreciate you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.